It's his story. Oh, we're yeah, still having right technical on. things. There you go. Oh, All right, we're you're good. doing great. Right. Thank oh, you, girl. Better. That's much better. Thank you, okay. yeah. All right, perfect. Are we ready to go? Yeah, I'm ready. All right, we're a good deal. All right, here, keep this number handy, 907-KIDS, 907-5437. Ben Hines joins us. He's 18 years old, first chance we've ever had the chance to meet him. And uh, just kind of going over here a little bit about your story, you know, it, you, <coughs> Ben, you've got cancer. That's right. I've got cancer, and I'm 18. <laughs> what? What else do we need to say? Um, exactly. <laughs> I mean... A lot of a lot of people don't realize like they hear cancer and they're like oh you know my grandma has breast cancer or something like that they only think of like older people and then they don't really think about you know all the the two year olds and three year olds and even like teenagers like me who who have to like you know pause the life that you think about you know having when you're you know an adolescent or something like that and having to to rethink you know how you're gonna get to that you know older position you know that your grandparents are in and then you know go from there a lot of people just kind of overthink the fact that kids can get cancer and kids are dealing with cancer right now you know it's a lot to think about first of all um i'm inspired your attitude amazes me um because becky asked to take a picture of you a minute ago and he had this, this kid has just a huge smile on him and he's upbeat and and, and really perky yeah well, Regardless of the fact, I mean, he's sitting here with an IV pole with all these drips and all these lines yeah. and all these monitors. And <laughs> What I'm are actually, all those for, do you know? I've got uh, one is uh, sugar water, the other is a uh, uh, nausea medication, the other is actually chemotherapy. So I'm getting chemo right now as I'm sitting Are here. you for real? Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Which one is the chemo? The red one. It's actually orange. Is that orange thing right there? I've never seen that before. Yeah, the cool thing, actually, what's awesome about this, this one right here, it's a typical, it's like typical chemotherapy. Like, if you talk to anybody that's had chemotherapy, the, the drugs are the same. But what they've done with mine is the doctors here are just so, I mean, they're awesome. What um, My doctor, my personal doctor, uh, Dr. Sailors, what he's done is he's he's personally communicated with uh, the leading pediatric, uh, pediatric doctor on lymphoma, like pediatric lymphoma, which is what I have. And uh, um, in uh, Columbia University in New York, right? <clears throat> so his name is Mitch Cairo. Basically, he's like he has all the information in the world on what I have, and he basically said that uh, he has this treatment that it's not really published. That I haven't really published it yet as a concrete pediatric, um, you know, research thing. So it's it hasn't been done a whole lot, but what has been done, the the cure rates and survival rates have been 100%. So I'm the first person in the state to get this this uh, treatment regimen, and um, I think I'm the 47th person ever to get it. So wow. it's pretty cutting edge, honestly. So like the stuff being done at this hospital is is uh, very very up to date, and um, I mean they're making breakthroughs pretty much. I mean this is so cool. Like what have um, I guess it was a month ago they had me on a treatment that that uh, beat me up pretty bad. And uh, they were going to keep me on that, I think. I was going to do that six times, and I was thinking, there's no way I'm going to be able to do this six times. Well, you mean it awful. beat you up? Did it make you sick? Oh, or? yeah, really sick. I mean, the side effects from chemotherapy are pretty bad anyway. But, I mean, I just, everything that could go wrong pretty much did go wrong with that one. And then when I was home from that one, uh, Dr. Sailors called and said that he had, he had found out about this one. And with this one, instead of getting all the drugs separately they're all mixed in that one bag right there and i get it over four days so it's really slow and continuous and they're already mixed together so your body doesn't have to sort all that out pretty much and uh with that the side effects have been pretty pretty minimal i mean i go home and i I'm, i feel normal you know i get up and play xbox and do homework and stuff like that like any other kid would do but i just have to be home and you know <clears throat> have to deal with uh you know not being able to handle you know, a normal sickness as well, because chemotherapy messes with your immune system too. All right. So, um, right now I have to be homebound from school for the semester or until I'm done. Which what, where do you go to school? Southside in Fort Smith. Are you a senior this I'm year? I'm a senior this year, yeah. So senior year in high school and you're dealing with cancer. Yeah, it's <laughs> it's pretty yeah, that's what's going on. So we're talking to Ben Hines, 18 year old young man here getting chemotherapy as we're talking to him in the lobby of Arkansas Children's Hospital. You don't seem like the type to do this, but have there ever been moments when you said, you know, this just isn't fair? I mean, this 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 can't be happening to me. Um, honestly, not really. You know, I I personally told myself at the beginning of this like I wasn't gonna think like that. 
you know, <clears throat> it may not be fair. It, I mean, I, a lot of people don't think it is for me, and they've told me that. And I pretty much said, you know, um, that's not what I'm going to do. I'm not going to sit here and, you know, have a pity party for myself because this has happened to me. I mean, it has happened to me, and I am dealing with it. So that's just what I've got to do is exactly that, which is deal with it in the best way possible. And I think I'm doing it in the best way possible personally. 907 <clears throat> 5437 is the phone number for you to call us and become a miracle maker just $15 a month make a pledge of $15 a month if you'd like to make a one time contribution you could do that too it's 907 5437 Ben has a beautiful smile beautiful eyes and now he's blushing because I'm yeah. telling everybody he looks great but I, I just posted his picture on Facebook if you'd like to see what he looks like Ben has lymphoma form right. of cancer we need 18 miracle makers right this minute in honor of Ben who is 18 right. we, we need the phones to ring Ben would you give the number so people can know to Which, call see all those numbers feel free to give them all okay the local number is 907-5437 uh, the toll-free number is 1-888-771-5437. On your Cricut phone, it's star B98 and online B98.com. Awesome. What kind of care have you gotten here, Ben? Uh, excellent care. I mean, it's so awesome. All the nurses here are just the coolest people ever, honestly. You notice he pointed out the nurses were cool here. I'd... 18-year-old young man, Ben Hines. I know, I'm gonna, cool. I've got to give you a little bit of a hard time, you know. <laughs> Ben's getting cancer treatments right here as he's talking to us right now. We need you on the phone at 